Hi, this is Ryan from Better Tattooing. We're out in the garage today. It is really cold, hence the Canadian jacket, rock and roll. We're gonna be giving you some tips for stretching skin. Let's talk about skin tension lines. All right. All right, now that's over. Skin tension lines, what are they? <clears throat> Must be known as like Langer lines, Chrysler lines, skin tension lines, surgical and sensor lines. There's a whole bunch of different lines that you can find on the body, especially if you're talking about dermatology stuff. So, where are you going to use these? Because this can actually really help you sometimes when you're dealing with difficult skin to tattoo, right? Um, skin tension lines, what are they? Where do they come from? How do we know them? Um, the body is oriented in, in an interesting way and how the skin is actually set onto our, our bodies, you know, as a living, breathing part of it, it, it has a tendency to, when damaged, rip and move a certain way. So these lines were originally discovered by people, I think it was like in the 1800s, where they would take like a body part, where if we have like said hand, you know, and arm, what they would do is they would just take like an awl, you know what an awl is? It's like this round metal pointy thing and they just stab it into cadavers, it's just pretty metal, right? And when they would make the holes in the skin and remove them, there is a, a propensity of the body to rip and spread out after that hole was made. And it occurs with a blunt force trauma as well as just like a long slices or something, like if there's gonna be a surgery and say that they're gonna be making a cut here or something on the back of a, a wrist. The skin has a tendency to wanna to pull away from where that actual incision has been made. And this is where these, these tension lines come in, right? Because when you're doing a surgery, you're usually going to be finding these areas inside the body where when you make a cut, it's going to open up away from that cut for you. It's kind of simple, right? If I, if I wanted to, you know, remove an abscess or something that's circular inside of someone's body and I, I make a cut along these lines, <clears throat> the skin will naturally just kind of like open up around it with a single incision giving me better viewability so I can get to it. Well, if I didn't do that and I went against them, I would have to make a larger hole inside the skin to get to the actual thing that I want to deal with, right? It's kind of neat. So I know, Ryan, we're not dermatologists or surgeons, so why does this matter? Well, this matters because if we have a predictable space in which the skin is going to stretch, if given any type of trauma, especially if it's gonna be breaking through all the way through into like the you know, fatty tissues and connective tissues underneath the skin, we can utilize that tension to increase our actual ability to stretch the skin. <clears throat> so everyone has this where, we'll just go back to doing a little, uh, ba, ba, ba. oops, someone broke their wrist. Uh, Everyone's had it where you're doing a tattoo and say you have a heart that you're doing on someone's, I don't know, wrist area, something, <laughs> forearm. And when you're doing it, you're trying, you're stretching the way that you normally do, right? You're gonna, you're gonna be pulling apart and running your lines against that, that stretch, right? You're gonna be doing the same thing. So it's, you're running, stretching this way, you're pulling the stretch so that the skin's tight and you're gonna be running against it. Sometimes you do it and it just doesn't work. <laughs> so you'd be sitting there for hours, which I apologize, I'm a little sick today, trying to dig this stuff in and you're just beating your head against the wall because it's like, oh my gosh, this is just not working today. There's something wrong. Maybe it's my machine or my needles or the pigment or something else that we just, you know. But that's not usually why that actually happens. It's happening because the person may have offset skin tension lines that you're actually working against, right? It's so not to get too complex here, because I tried to make this video a couple times, but it got really sciencey really quick. And I don't think that, I mean, you can tell me in the comments and stuff if you want, but we don't probably need to get into the high science of why this stuff is going to occur or how it occurs or why or you know, any of that stuff. We just like how to fix it, right? So if you are sitting there pulling and doing everything you're supposed to and just stuff isn't working, you need to do a few things, right? <clears throat> One, you need to rotate your stretch 
And what do I mean by that? Instead of just pulling on your lines normally that you are, reposition your body and try pulling in different ways. Instead of just pulling up and down, try pulling at that 45 or at the 90, right? Almost think about it in a clock type fashion or whatever, right? We're gonna be taking those quarter points between every single you know, rotation around that, that, that clock face. And we're gonna try stretching the skin a little bit differently. Now, when you do this, you're gonna notice one of two things. One, when you get into this actual stretching, right? Uh, some spots or positions stretch better. What does that tell us? Well, we already know that the skin is naturally constructed that it's going to pull a certain way more than others. So you're gonna be utilizing these tension lines inside the skin to actually increase your total stretch. This does a lot of stuff to the skin, which we can get to in another more technical video. But realistically, what's gonna happen is just, it's gonna pull the skin more taut, decreasing the actual like depth, right? Because when you stretch something, it's gonna compile it, thin it out, stretch it together, right? It's gonna shrink it up a little bit. It's gonna make it easier for the needle to go through. Less force because it's more taut. This is where we're playing around with acoustics again, right? It's kind of like tuning a guitar string. You make it tighter, that vibration goes from loose to tight, tightens up, it works better, and the needle can pass through more, more <clears throat> quickly and easily. Less, less mechanical force required to actually do it. So th this is like a super short video. Well, maybe, unless I keep yammering. This is one of the easiest ways to try and improve anything that you're doing line-wise or otherwise. Um, if you want to go online, you can look up skin tension lines. Just go to a search engine, look in the images, and what you'll see is there's gonna be a, a graph, or a, a diagram, sorry, where they're gonna show these lines going across the body. <clears throat> And those are just gonna be identified as contention lines, right? They're gonna be working in a very specific pattern. Now, I mean, diagnostically, if you're a dermatologist, understanding how certain uh, diseases, uh, ailments, et cetera, are actually gonna be interacting with these lines or other lines, like Langer lines or whatever, um, can help you identify like possibly what somebody may have as an illness. But for tattooing specifically, what we're gonna do is see that as these lines are constantly moving, and adjusting as they go around the body for different spots, we can utilize a better stretch by just working perpendicular to them. The perpendicular means not parallel, right? If we see the lines going one way, we're gonna stretch totally opposite of it. Now, you can do another thing if you don't really wanna take the time to go on, you know, whatever your search engine is, the duck or bang or goo, whatever. <clears throat> You can identify these pretty quickly inside the body by giving a little bit of a stretch against the skin and then pushing it together. When you push it together, especially if you grab like a good old amount of chunk on the skin, you're gonna see the skin kind of bow and there'll be little, little indentations inside the skin that you're gonna be able to follow. Now you try pinching it in different ways. The point where you get the greatest aggregation which is like the biggest amount of those little lines forming, usually is gonna identify the opposite way that you're gonna need to stretch that, right? We're gonna be removing tension off the skin as we come around by following the skin tension lines, right? And we'll be like, oh cool, we're getting a lot of piling here. We know that the skin is actually really pliable that way because we've taken off a lot of the tension. All you're gonna do is just do the opposite line. Simple. So, you're having trouble stretching, getting lines in, do some skin tension line tricks. That's it for today. This is Ryan from Better Tattooing, signing off.